In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Today being the Tuesday after Sexagesima, but also the feast day of St. Valentine, priest and martyr. We read in the Divine Office that Noah, wanting to know if the waters of the flood were sufficiently dried, sent forth a raven, which went forth and did not return. He afterwards sent a dove, which, not finding where to rest her foot, returned into the ark. Now, the raven of the ark is a figure or can be taken for a figure of those who, lacking discipline, are carried away by the alluring pleasures of the world. Normally, the raven frequents marshes, especially where there is the scent of dead bodies. The alluring beautiful things of the world which entraps the heart of those lacking discipline and recollection are indeed dead bodies. So much is invested by the world and the worldly to make the flesh attractive these days. On account of this, certain works of the flesh abound in our days. Fornication, uncleanness, immodesty, luxury, and so on. The dove of the ark can be taken for a figure of those who accept the discipline of God's laws and are only intent on doing his holy will. They are schooled in saintly recollection and love of solitude. Such as these cannot find a place to rest their feet in the world knowing this world is not their home. By not resting their feet, we mean not imbibing the manners and the spirits of the world, even though they must live, live in the world and go about their daily business. St. Valentine, whose feast is today, refused to find a place in the world to rest his feet, he refused to renounce his faith and was thus mercilessly beaten with clubs and afterwards barbarously beheaded. Concerning him, St. Augustine says that in his glorious battle we have two things chiefly to consider. The hardened cruelty of the tormentor that we may abhor it and the unconquered patience of the matter that we may imitate it. While St. Valentine shed his blood in defense of the seven faith, his feast day is hijacked by the workers of the works of the flesh to promote fornication, uncleanness, immodesty, luxury. Do not be like the raven of the ark, do not let your hearts to be entrapped by the dead bodies of this world made alluring by the ingenuity of the enemy of your soul. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, our Lord says. Imitate the patience of St. Valentine in submitting to the sweet yoke of God's commandments and the precepts of his holy church, thus learning due discipline with love of recollection and solitude. St. Valentine, priest and martyr, pray for us. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.